Welcome to a Halloween edition of the Two Wheel Drive Short Course Insanity Invitational. Hi, Billy Mays here with RRC, and I came back from the dead to analyze this remote control car race. Loose dirt conditions means the racers will have to be in tune with their tires. And we spoke with a special driver to learn more. I'm having a blast. I'm actually racing tomorrow as well, so I figured I can kind of use this as a test run. First time with RRC. Hopefully, big things come out of this. Coming out here at first, I actually started on sprinters. Thought the track would kind of break up a lot more than it has, and uh, yeah, it has not. Figuring out the tire program still, um, it seems like there's like not a perfect happy medium, but it makes it up for a good challenge. I'm struggling really bad with two-wheel drive short course right now. We're trying to get some boggles figured out with the car. Just trying to conserve myself for the main, and uh, main's usually when we shine. The Insanity Invitational Halloween Special on RRL is unofficially sponsored by Hard Mountain Dew, How Hard Will You Go? And by Fright Castle Ghoul Burgers, a great midnight snack. And if you order now, you'll receive a- No, 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 none of that. These are unofficial sponsors. Billy, who do you have your eyes on in this race? I like Brent Poles. He came off a round six win in the Backyard Series, and he's top qualifier today. He's ready to battle. Making his RRL debut starting in second is Captain Kirk. He ran the fastest lap of qualifying. In third is Cullen. He will need a big time run today because it's really tough to pass here at this little old barn. But wait, there's more. Bill rounds out the field in a race that features all team associated trucks. Thanks, Billy. And here we go. Three, two, one. Then we're off. You took off really well at the start. Here's the onboard view from the back of my truck, and right away, Bill Albanese with a mistake entering turn two. Post reclaims the lead. You can tell the speed these guys pick up even through the turns. It's remarkable. Absolutely. Oh, I gave up a lot there around turn six. You're lucky Kirk didn't pull a fast one on you. Post now on his lid. He'll drop back to third place in what's been a chaotic start. This is a fantastic product. Kirk now hanging on a second for dear life with Post right on his rear bumper. Post now looking to the inside of Kirk. Kirk got a little bit crossed up. That's a big mistake. He's going to lose a spot to Post. Whoa, in oh, trouble. Goodness. Post nosedives into the dirt. That'll need a marshal. Back-to-back -back mistakes. I'll extend my lead. Post is really trying to put the hammer down, and that will cost him more than one of our $40 OxyClean tubs. I guarantee it. Here at RRL RC, we're always brewing up something. You're going to want to like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you don't miss one of our special RC car concoctions. A little over a minute down, and Colin has a little bit of breathing room, but Kirk and Post are really gaining on these corners here. It's been a clean race for me thus far, unlike the rest of the field as we see second and third go over the jump. Kirk in a world of trouble. He just lost it. He smacked the wall almost as hard as I smacked my head on that no good plane. You have to hit your marks and stay smooth. One racer who was not able to keep it smooth is Aaron Lasher. He blew his transmission in Q1 and then broke his servo in Q2. His day is done before it started. My heart goes out of Lasher. As a racer, you have to have short-term memory because unlike OxyClean, the longer you let it set in, the harder it is to make it go away. Meanwhile, this battle for third is starting to heat up. Albany's trying to fight back after those early mistakes. Looks like Bill chose the wrong tires. He's gripping really wide in some of these corners. Whoa! Award. Captain Kirk and Bill Albany's made some contact while they were airborne. Here I come in the middle of both of them. You really got to try to get your setup perfect, and that's what Cullen has done today. Lap traffic an issue now as I got caught up with Bill, and he blocks me on the outside. I don't know if he knows if I'm in the lead. All of this delay will help Post trailing in second. Let's see if Post can find something in the second half here. Post, the 33-year-old originally from Little Falls, New Jersey, is making his 24th RRL start since 2019. A very avid golfer off the racetrack, and you don't want to get on the golf course with Brent because he's as competitive on the golf course as he is on the racetrack. I have personal experience with this. Post is absolutely cooking right now. You can see that gap closing. His last lap was the fastest of the race, but this isn't going to help a mistake. He hit the tubing. That is a big no-no. And he'll lose out on some precious seconds now having to do with lap traffic of his own. Billy, what do you see? This is like when you spill red wine over white carpeting. Unless you have OxyClean, your day is ruined. But in all honesty, it's almost like the faster you're trying to go, the slower you're 
going to go. I just don't know if anybody has anything for Cullen right now. But wait, there's more. I had a 1995 special discount for viewers, but I am dead. Okay. What got you into RC car racing? Let's just say that I have had a lot of time on my hand. I've gotten into really anything to keep my mind off of suitcases and airplanes. If you know, you know. And that might put the nail in the coffin for any late race magic for post. I'm able to pull away. Kirk was in the wrong place at the wrong time. A tough break for post. And now Cullen is pretty checked out on the rest of the field. Any pro racers you especially like? My favorite driver right now has to be Dakota Ken from TLR. I like him because TLR sounds a lot like DLC and that is the channel where a lot of my infomercials play. Those special acronyms supercharge both of our careers. Less than one minute to go and no real battles on the track post, just skating around at this point. Hey Billy, Halloween's around the corner. Do you have any favorite costumes you've worn? One year, I dressed up as the Shamwai guy because I wanted to see firsthand what my life would be like living as a joke. I look back on my 25-year salesman career and just think, whatever happened to the Shamo guy, OxyClean has stood the test of time, and it will still whiten your grout and get rid of the toughest of stains. The only real one in the game anymore is Bill Swift from Flex Seal. Everyone else can go play in traffic. Whoa, I get it, Bill. You're passionate about salesmanship. The passion is what you need, and that is what I appreciate about RC racing. Everyone is here because they want to, not because they have to. I just got this note from our tremendous research team. It's been 433 days since my last short course truck race win in an RRL sanctioned event until now. I'll cross the finish line in first. Albany's will round it out in fourth. Post will come across to finish in second. Kirk to third. Pam, that is nothing. I've been dead for over 5,000 days. Billy, just please let me have this one moment. Okay, fine. And here's Victory Lane, a little spin out by me. A lot of celebration, a lot of emotion on display. Well, Billy, that was one spooky race. I'm sure you have a product you want to plug. OxyClean is the stain specialist, but Cam Cullen is the all-important RC car specialist today. Brian, the, the track owner, and Farmer Tina, thank you very much for making this event happen. With two-wheel short course, I just felt like that car, kind of like a tire game throughout the day, but I ended up running J-Concept Sprinters at the end on this kind of loose grip kind of conditions, and it really hooked up for me for the main. And um, I was able to navigate my way around Brent, Kirk, and company just to uh, hold on to a win. I kept it calm, cool, consistent. I had a good line with this, and this thing was playing it all day. So thank you guys for watching at home. This one's really cool. It's my first one in a little while, so I hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you in the next one. From here at Insanity RC Racetrack, Cam Cohen, out. <laughs>